Item 198, enter into a memorandum of understanding to become a member of the local joint terrorism task force in conjunction with the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Thank you. Well, let me uh, first set the stage again for those that I don't think there's anyone here that's new to this discussion, but I uh, wanted to set this up as two clearly articulated alternatives for the council, given that the in my mind, and I think in, in all of our minds, the, the current arrangement that we've had uh, for our work with the Federal Bureau of Investigation on terrorist issues has not been satisfactory in that we didn't have the level of participation that some asked for, and we didn't have the level of clarity uh, and uh, communication back to the city that I would expect. Um, so we tried to put this on the table before the council uh, in an in a obvious and clear dichotomy and then let the community come in and give us their opinions and we have certainly heard from a lot of people on this issue and heard some strong feelings and um, I have to tell you uh, this has probably been the most uh, one of the most difficult decisions for me to address uh, while I've been on the council this time the first time around when this uh, came before the council I voted against participating um, and there are very good reasons for that opinion and in fact, there are things that still weigh strongly in my mind towards not participating. And there's also now some very strong and compelling uh, arguments on the other side. And I, I want to take the prerogative of the chair in a moment, um, take up first number 197, which is the memorandum to participate. Because I believe in my own mind, after weighing all this, that we should participate but that we should with some very clear caveats and understandings among ourselves. Let me start, again, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, make my statement now at the outset rather than waiting uh, to the end when I vote. Uh, as I said, there's strong feelings on both sides of this issue and in my own heart and my own mind. Uh, the two words that I think my uh, dilemma about this issue revolved around, one is ashamed and the other is appalled. I'm ashamed uh, as an American that we have been involved in wars without justification, in prisons without trials, and in torture. I hate to even say those words. Um, I have not too much trouble making decisions in this job, but sometimes I'm up late at night. Lately when I've been up late at night, I've been watching Ken Burns' series about World War II. And the moral clarity that we as a country had at the end of that war contrasts so appallingly, again, that word, um, with what we have done lately in the world, that it makes it very difficult for me to contemplate cooperating with the federal government, because I think much of what has been done, unfortunately, in the last several administrations, um, has cost us moral authority in the world and violates principles that I really believe in as an American. Um, so I am ashamed and many federal agencies have been complicit uh, in those wrongs, including the FBI. The other word is appalled and I'm appalled by the radical evil that is loose in the world today. I'm appalled at what has happened to innocent people. We were all appalled uh, in, in September, on September 11th when our country was attacked. And that was an attack by terrorists on symbols of American power that murdered a lot of innocent people. Um, maybe there were some of us here in Portland who could have thought then, well, that was an attack on the symbols of American power. It, it may not affect us here in Portland. But most recently, the attacks in Paris and Copenhagen and Boston are incidents in which people, we call them terrorists, attacked their own communities and murdered their neighbors. And I think any conceit that we might be exempt from that radical evil here is unfortunately removed by what happened in those places. So that's the dilemma that faces me and each of us as members of this council. And I know we've all um, agonized over this decision. Uh, we've also heard from the community about, um, about the downside of participating in any kind of arrangement with the FBI because 
again, a fear, a legitimate fear, based on historical injustice and recent mistakes and misconduct in this and other federal agencies. We've heard from the Muslim community on both sides of this issue, some who see the value in joining and some who don't want us to join, and a real cry for us to develop a sound relationship with this and each of the communities in our city. So I think we've all heard and taken to heart those concerns. A couple of things that pull me towards the reluctant decision that we should participate in this partnership with the Federal Bureau of Administration. One, we already do on many other fronts. We have cooperative arrangements with the FBI on child exploitation, on human trafficking, on bank robbery, on gangs. We work with the FBI constantly, and that's a natural and normal thing in a metropolitan area that's part of a country with a state line close by. And the same thing is true, of course, in other areas of criminal activity like terrorism. So the question is, will we be safer if we share information, or will we be less safe because people will fear our relationship with the FBI? And I think there's some things that we can do in this arrangement and some people that we can rely on that, again, make this a marginally justifiable decision. One is I have complete confidence in Larry O'Day as my police chief and as our police chief and as somebody who reflects Portland's values. This man is all about the relationship between the police bureau and our community, and I do believe that he completely reflects our values about civil liberties and trust as the basis for policing. So I know that I can rely on him. And then I've asked him for some things if we were to make this decision, and he enthusiastically agrees that this is what we should do. And that is, if we decide to join the Joint Terrorism Task Force, the chief of police and I are going to sit down with the officers who would be assigned to this work and personally instruct them in what is expected and required of them if we do. One is that they will follow the law and they will follow our policies as a city and that they will follow the values of the community that they serve. And if there ever comes a moment when their values and those instructions conflict with working in cooperation with the Federal Bureau of Administration, they are not only encouraged, they are required to come to the chain of command for which they work, the chief of police for the city of Portland and the police commissioner for the city of Portland, and to let us know that there's a conflict between what they're being asked to do and what Portlanders would want them to do and how they would want them to do it. And that their performance as a Portland police officer and their future as a Portland police officer will be assured by sticking to our values if there's ever a conflict. And I believe that if we give those instructions to the right officers that they'll be followed. Secondly, you've heard my criticism and I've heard a lot of people's criticisms of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. I do believe that Greg Bretzing, the current special agent in charge for Portland, is a man of integrity and someone who will be honest with me. I've met this man, I've spoken with him, I've questioned him closely, and I believe that he personally, and I'm talking about the organization, I'm talking about him personally, I believe that he personally is someone who will be truthful with me and who is a person of integrity. And if you can't believe that in any business, then you're going to have a difficult time doing your job. So I believe that we can rely on that. And further, we're going to make sure that there are safeguards in place and they're here in terms of our officers seeking legal advice from the city attorney about Oregon law, about our city attorney periodically training these officers, and about me as the commissioner in charge of the police bureau under a nondisclosure agreement getting much more complete information about what our officers are doing. My standard will be if I'm not sure that our officers are performing in ways that we as a city would want them, then I'll come back to this council with the opposite resolution and ask that we withdraw. But I think given what's loose in the world and what's been the harm that's already done to innocent people in places like Boston, that we should be able to rely on the fact that we have a good relationship with the FBI. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hoffman. Thank you, Mr. Hoffman.
that as your police commissioner, this is the right decision for me in good conscience to make. So that's why I will support on this controlled basis for now with these people, this arrangement. So that's my suggestion to us as a council for what we do today. Uh, again, we'll take a vote on, uh, on uh, we take a vote on both of these for that matter, but my recommendation is we proceed to take a vote on 197 and, and if we approve it, 198. So council. Question there, um, what happens when the person assigned to be in charge of FBI here is a different person? Um, I will I will want to very carefully take that person's measure and see if I still have the same level of confidence because this is part of the personal for me. Um, I do rely on Larry and Larry O'Day, Chief Larry O'Day, uh, and I believe in his values. As I said, I, I, I'm about the FBI. No, I know, and, and I've gotten to know Greg Retzing uh, a little, and as I said, my, my instincts tell me I'm dealing with a person of integrity who will tell me the truth <coughs> and who understands what Portland expects in this arrangement. Um, if I ever if I ever have reason to question that assessment about him or about his successor, um, then it will be time to consider. Mayor um, we've exercised the prerogative of the chair, so we're taking up 197 first. We've also exercised the prerogative chair of, of, of essentially casting the first vote. Yes. So do you, do you intend to cast the vote and then go back to the regular order? Yes. And I, I would support that. Okay. So, Council, I'd like to have any more discussion before we take a roll call uh, on, 197. on 197? Okay, then let's do it, please. Fritz. We had an opportunity here today to create more confidence within our community. I don't believe with this action that we are doing that. Everyone here on this council and everybody here in this chamber is committed to public safety here in our city. The question is how do we get, best get there? 